Good day. Today we're speaking to Dr. Martin Loebscher. He's a senior lecturer at the Department of Practical and Missional Theology. Am I right? That's correct. Okay. Dr. Loebscher also recently won a very coveted prize for this book. It's the Andrew Murray Prize for Theological Books in Afrikaans. So it seems you've got quite a good publishing career going on here, Dr. Loebscher. I believe this is based on your PhD. Correct, yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations to with that prize. Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay, so it's a very simple discussion. Um, tell all of us, how did you become a researcher? I think first of uh, most important is, I think it's part of the job. Um, by studying theology, especially in the university context, you, you need to do research. So, and theology is also of such a nature that it's constantly reading and reflecting and engaging with our environment. So, um, for me, it's in a sense like second nature just to do research. Lovely. And, so, um, you enjoy it? I, I thoroughly, yes. Okay. And what are you currently working on? So, my, my discipline is homiletics and liturgy. That means preaching and worship of the church. Um, but, I, but my background is actually in systematic theology. So, the PhD was in systematic theology uh, and specifically on public theology. So, in a sense, it deals with the church's witness in the world, how we engage with public life and, and how, how we embody faith. Um, and do we really have the ability to, to look deeper into things and, and also try to transform society for the good? So that, that's my background and I still think that homiletics and liturgy is a very good um, entry point to continue with that kind of research. Fascinating. Tell me, what research gaps have you managed to identify in your field? Um, so my background is in Karl Barth and public theology, and I still think in terms of the reception in South Africa, there's a long way to continue with that. So I will thoroughly continue with my reading and the reception of Karl Barth and also public theology, again, from my discipline of politics and liturgy. Okay. And then, um, how would you aspire inspire other aspiring researchers in your field? What would you like to tell them? It's difficult to, to tell other people what they should do, but I think most important is to enjoy what you are doing. So, um, I thoroughly enjoyed in writing this book. Uh, it took me quite some time, but in the end it was so um, enjoyable. All right. Then, we all know the mind is fit. With this gentleman, the body is also fit. He's just recently completed the Comrades Marathon. What else did you do for recent relaxation? Um, that's it. <laughs> uh, training for the Comrades and, and doing research uh, asks quite a, a lot of you. So I think that's more or less it. <laughs> Dr. Lopes, thanks so much for joining us today and wishing you the best going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.